Hi, y'all. I'm going to do a review on this Blackstone griddle top grill, the 36 inch that I got. My cousin Julie won't know how I liked it. She was thinking about getting one. I told her I'd do a video. And right here is my old boy, Luke. He wanted to be out here in this video. Yeah, I've been cooking on it a few days. Really love it. I did some pork chops on it the other night. And I tell you what, they were really good. I blackened both sides of them. Put them on there, squirted some water on that grill that hot. Put a dome on it. Let them cook. Got them about 175, which 145 safe to eat. They got up to 175, and you could just about cut them with a fork. They were they were really good. The uh, assembly of this grill was easy. They say 30 minutes or less, and yeah, it was. <laughs> they was right. The legs come on it. They're folded up. You unbuckle a button, fold them out, put wheels on them, uh, do all that. Uh, you got some screws to put in on the shelf, which are thumb screws, and you got your shelves you put on. The two the screws in the shelves there, they can be a little aggravating just trying to get to them, but I'm going to tell you, it went good. Now, this thing is made in China. I don't like that, but this cost me $345 for this grill. And uh, so if it was made in USA, this would probably be a $600 grill. But anyway, it's pretty well designed it works great it's a four burner and i'll pick the camera up here and show you here in a minute uh but uh yeah we've cooked eggs on it uh no stick uh, so when you get it what you need to do the first thing is you know uh, warm soapy water just sponge it down clean it off turn it on heat it up put it on high uh, put you some, uh, I use olive oil and use light olive oil because the smoke point is a lot higher on that. So put the olive oil on there and take you a paper towel and just wipe it around. Leave it on, smoke it. Then when the smoke stops, put some more on there. Rub it around. Do that about three, four times. Shut it off and let it cool. You're ready to go at that point. Um, and my eggs, they, they didn't stick, which I was very surprised. It's just like an iron skillet. Do an iron skillet the same way when you get it. If you get a, a lodge iron skillet that's pre-seasoned, if it feels rough, get you a palm sander and get all that down till you see a little bit of the metal, shiny metal showing through. Do the same thing on that skillet. Put you some olive oil on it, burn it off. Do that a couple times, it's good to go. But uh, I'm basically cook some hash browns. I'm not going to put that in the video. But I'm going to cook some hash browns and uh, some frozen chicken out of a bag that's already pre-seasoned. We're just going to heat that up. I just want to cook, so I just, whatever. If I can cook it, I come out here and do it. Pretty fun. I enjoy it. But anyway, my review of this grill is, uh, is, is very good so far. So it, it lives up to its name and... Hey, y'all also, if you watch this, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It don't cost you anything, but it helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Guess what? I've only got 18. Y'all gonna have to chip in and help a little bit and give me a like on that. But if you don't like it, then don't do it. I, I'm, this is America. Do what you want to do. Boy, I look at it. But anyway, so... Uh, and I know Luke would appreciate it too. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, let me just kind of show you on this. I'm going to pull this lid off uh, right now. There's little hangers on it. The only thing is when you hang this lid on the back, there is a drip tray back there with a little aluminum tin in it. You got to be careful putting that back there or you'll knock it off. So we're going to show them how to take this lid off, okay? Okay. All right. So the handles are kind of backwards so to speak but they have to be that way you could roll the grill out and go around to the back side and do it and it rolls very easy i moved it while to go uh, got very good locks on the casters uh, roll this out like this and, and uh, you could go back here and uh, hopefully we stay in frame here but you could go off like this and uh, some little hooks in there and hook it on right there all right, Luke, let me get over here. I'm going to roll her back. 
Um, now I'll show you this thing real quick. Let me grab this. If I don't drop it off the porch here, that'd be bad. But uh, here you go. This is it. What do you think about that grill, Luke? Good. It cooks good. Is the food good? Yeah. Hey, it looks like you eating good too, buddy. But anyway, I pick at them all the time. But yeah, man, it's uh, real good. Look at that. Now, you know, the cleanup is easy on it. Um, yeah. Got a magnet right here. Got hangers right here. Hey, check this out. Let me pull this thing out here if I can find it. Uh, that right there, you put your roll of paper towels on it. Um, I want to show you some of the accessories I got. Uh, don't look at that 7% East Bank beer. Hey, shout out to East Bank. Uh, they're next door to the shop. They they give me kegs because they use my parking lot. So, yeah, shout out to those guys. They're great. But here's a dome. Uh, when you squirt that water on there, and, and, and here's, here's a water bottle and uh, olive oil. And uh, I've got some of this I haven't tried, tried this yet. I like olive oil. It works good. Get you one of these so you can keep up with your temperature of your grill. These come in your standard kit right here, these two, but Erica went out and I think the Lowe's and bought these has got a little bit sharper edge on it. Um, she bought one of these. Um, for doing, I right, just flip stuff a little bit better. And you have, uh, here's your grill scraper. Um, so anyway, that's, she bought this little basket to help me carry this stuff out because I was making 50 trips. But anyway, let me set this back over here and uh, tell you what you can do as far as uh, cleaning this thing. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. But uh, to clean this grill when you get done, as soon as you get done, you plate your food, you take it in. You just come out here and if, if you got the debris on it you take that little scraper and you scrape it off there's a little hole back here in the back and uh, you scrape it off in there get all that off if you got stuck on food you take that water bottle and i do it in quarters but spray that water on there and that steam will loosen them uh, uh season ends or whatever is stuck to it and you just scrape it off to the back you know do it wherever when you get done you take a paper towel while it's hot you can't let it cool down Take that paper towel and you wipe on it just to wipe it down. Hit it with olive oil. Take a paper towel or you can take that spatula. I use a paper towel because it spreads it more evenly. And spread that stuff around like that. And you really don't have to let it smoke or anything at this point. You're already seasoned. Turn it off, let it cool down, cover it up, and be sure to get a grill cover because those handles will let water leak in on that grill. And you don't want to do that. But... Um, the cover is pretty good. I think it's going to get better once the heat's on it and it stretches out a little bit. Uh, but it is a nice cover. Um, but be sure you get one. When I bought mine, they was out of them. I had to wait a couple of days and it rained on it. Uh, I had one person say, oh, we got one and it just rusted up. Well, yeah. If you let rain on it and you don't season it and you let it sit out there for two or three weeks or a month, yeah, it's going to rust just like leaving an iron skillet out. You can't do that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, you said, you said hey, everybody. So, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I tell you, uh, it, it's really good. And what you see undercover next to it is my pit boss. It's pretty good. I might do a review on that later. Uh, it's a pretty good grill. I like it. Um, it's got a combination uh, gas grill, smoker, I just wish it'd put out a little bit more smoke than it does, but you can over smoke meat. But I, I would like a little bit more on that. Uh, but anyway, I told uh, Julie, my cousin, that I'd do a review on it, and uh, hopefully she'll subscribe and like. <laughs> and I always uh, live up to my word. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I do it. So, And that's the way everybody should do. So anyway, Luke, what do you think? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Good. And oh yeah, it's about 96 degrees out here. And earlier at 356 today, it was 120 uh, heat index with a 105 feel like temperature. But it actually was 95.6 degrees. I got a little weather station in my backyard. And I've also got that on um, 
um, what do I have that on? Uh, weather Underground. Uh, so I, I know exactly what's going on in my backyard as far as wind and rain and all that. I like gadgets, and y'all will find that out later that I like gadgets. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you buy one of these grills. Uh, later on down the road, I will do a review on it probably six months to a year from now to see how it's holding up. But so far, I like it. And this griddle is pretty good. And I don't think it'll warp because they put some angle irons under it. So it keeps it from warping and everything. So anyway, glad y'all, hope y'all enjoyed. Glad you watched. And uh, hey, like and subscribe, like I said. Come on, man. Y'all can do it. It's easy. And if you see this on Facebook, and it looks just like a picture. A lot of people don't know. Just push on the picture and it'll play under YouTube. So anyway, thanks guys. Have a good day.